You're listening to Don't Take Bullshit from Fuckers with your hosts Greg Barrett and Kane Holloway. Well, let's all bring the energy. Get ready to bring the energy, everyone. Here we go. <clears throat> Woo! Oh, no. oh my God. Stop. What? I don't want to be on that show. I'm bringing the energy. On that show. I'm bringing the energy. No, you're like, that's like the, that's the energy of the bachelor. <laughs> I'm bringing love that, is some, that is some Clayton Eckhart energy and I don't care for it. <laughs> he really is a little over the top. I don't like how he is with his girl, when his girls are, are making him feel good. And he treats them like they're all ex football players. <laughs> yeah. He always says that. <laughs> He always says, I like what you're bringing to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, hello. Welcome to Don't Take Bullshit from Fuckers, the show that helps you not take bullshit from fuckers. I'm Kane Holloway. I'm Greg Barron. We have producer Pat here, of course, with his dog, Caesar Salad. But special guest, co- special guest producer is uh, producer Sydney. <laughs> hello, Sydney. Hello. <laughs> I'm also here with my uh, my dog. You oh. can't see him right now, but his Ooh. name is Chewy. Chewy mm-hmm. and Salad. What a great combo. <laughs> Classic combo. Sydney, where are you from? Um, I'm from, oh my God. I'm from uh, Wisconsin. I grew up there, but I live in, I'm in Alaska right now. Sydney, for those of you who don't know, um, we Sydney wrote into the show and asked if she her dream job was to sit in and laugh with Pat <laughs> while the show uh, was going. And Greg and I said, "Yeah, absolutely, that would be great." And so Sydney is our guest that is going to laugh along with Pat. And then Pat also said, "You brought means too." I did. I brought a couple. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, sure. great. Um, do you, Sydney? Do you watch? The Bachelor or Love is Blind or anything like that? All of it. Yeah, I, um, I'm i completely caught up on both. Uh, <laughs> I binged the first whatever episodes of Love is Blind over the weekend, the ones that are um, available, and it is insane. <laughs> <laughs> it is insane. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's definitely different. They um, People really fucking want to be in love. Oh my God! Yeah, it is a thing, and they don't People, care what they have to do to get it. Oh, the the amount of lying to themselves, <laughs> they can't stop lying to themselves. They don't want it. They don't want to be in it. They don't want to rush to the altar. What the fuck are they thinking? <laughs> what are they thinking? They don't want to yeah. fuck. Some of them don't want to fuck each other. They don't want to. They don't, don't even want to kiss or really be around each other. They're they're drunk when they're drunk. They're very vocal about how they don't want to be with their person. The one girl didn't like kissing. Yeah, like it grossed her out. Yes. <laughs> Would you spend the rest of your life with somebody that was grossed out by kisses? Yeah, making out. I've been having many discussions with people. Like me, making out is a lot of fun. And if you can't be with someone who doesn't want to make out and your your whole thing is that's how you show love and intimacy, uh, that there's just no way that's going to work. I don't care how much you have in common. If you can't be physical in the same way, then you probably, at the very least, shouldn't be dating. But at the very most, getting married. What the <laughs> fuck is happening? I love it. And then I'm having constant conversations our our fan base keeps hitting me up because i keep posting about watching it and the insanity of shane that fucking coked out muppet (laughs) 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 it's insane uh, i don't get i don't is he your favorite no not actually just he just he keeps the show going um, Some of these people, I feel like they they forget that whatever they say is going to be aired on live TV, so their partner is going to hear it, you know? Yeah, Some of the yeah, shit absolutely. they're saying, insane. 
yeah it's pretty crazy um yeah shane is probably the my my favorite and least favorite of the show he 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 needs so much i i i described him because he needs so much attention he needs so much validation. I described him as the human equivalent of when a dog uses his nose to flip yeah. your hand on to top of yeah, its head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I and so I'm excited for Friday when this comes out uh, for the new batch of episodes where everyone is going to rush to the altar and ruin their lives. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's get into a question. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you. Should I need more energy? It's got to be, so be so great to be behind the scenes of the podcast now. <laughs> to see how it actually works. You're how watching. It. Mm -hmm. How horrible it really is. <laughs> this one went to my personal Instagram, at Kane Holloway. But you can also send messages, uh, emails, questions, memes, whatever you want, to at dtbffpodcast at gmail.com uh, or at our Instagram at dtbffpodcast. Uh, this one says, hey, Kane, I'm a huge fan of DTBFF, and I'm nervous to send this message. I hope you see it because I'd love to get your opinion as well as Greg's if you read it on the show. Well, guess what? We are. Reading it on the show. I have a question about my new boo. I'm in a new relationship with a wonderful man who we have been dating six months. We met on Hinge, and I can't get enough of him. We're on that fuck, eat, fuck, sleep life. I'm so proud. I'm also a part of Bachelor Nation, which I got him into, and now Mondays have become our night where we eat, drink, judge, and get unclean, winky face. Uh, he's sweet, attentive, kind, and I love and adore him very much. I feel like I found someone who really, truly is my other half, and I want to marry him like yesterday. My issue comes with his drinking. Uh-oh. I don't know if it's a problem or I'm just overthinking it. When we started out, we were getting drinks at restaurants or drinking at our homes and having fun, drunk sex all the time. We'd play drinking games together and laugh, go drunk walk around the city and have little adventures, and then it would turn passionate. But now I've noticed when he comes over or when I'm at his place, he's drinking earlier and earlier and not stopping until he passes out. It's not as fun as it was, and we don't have those little adventures as much as we were. I like to drink, but on occasion. When we met, it was so fun and easy that I got swept up in all the excitement of having new love that I didn't notice how much we were drinking until I decided to not drink as much because of the brutal hangovers that would follow the next day slash days. He hasn't stopped, and I don't like the drunk version of him as much as the sober version. We haven't fought about it yet, but I think he notices that I sort of shut down when he's drunk, which makes him withdraw from me. And we've had a few weird nights in the last week, which makes me think that we're going to fight about it soon because I hate unsaid weirdness and I want to talk about it, but I don't want to accuse him of having a problem if it just sounds like I'm overreacting. Help a bitch out, please. LMFAO. <laughs> P.S. P.S. If you do read this on the show, can you keep me anonymous? Mm -hmm. PPS, I cut my sandwiches both ways. Sometimes I'm full of joy and I cut it down the middle. And sometimes I feel crazy and I cut it corner to corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for all that you do, anonymous. Wow. Yeah. So tough. It's so tough because really... Other people's drinking problem is really their problem. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you can, I think she can, she can let it know, let him know that it bothers her or that she doesn't want to drink as much or she'd prefer that they not, it not always revolve around drinking. Like she can set some boundaries for herself, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, but she can't flat out accuse him of being an alcoholic. No, absolutely not. You know, which it sounds like he might be. Yeah, I think there's a. Uh, I think he need. She needs to do exactly that. Um, and also, don't try and don't try and fight, or ha or if you are engaged in some sort of argument while he's drunk, just don't don't engage because nothing will get done. Absolutely nothing. He might not remember it. Just the last thing you want to be doing is trying to rectify some issue you're having in your relationship while they're hammered. Yeah, I mean, if you have the conversation, it should be when he's sober. So breakfast. 
<laughs> yeah, over mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's I think that that's that's tough. And I think uh yeah, I think I think if you put your foot down with what you're gonna tolerate and what you won't, he's gonna shift around that. He's gonna to start thinking okay she doesn't like when i'm drunk maybe i'll try and reel it back i'll maybe i'll just that'll be when i go out or whatever like but you do need to have a firm stance on the drinking thing for yourself it's tough because relationships start off in these you know it's like this heightened excuse to party the whole time yes it's also related mm -hmm. so you know she's drinking more than she normally would but it's a lot of fun Mm -hmm. um it certainly solves the intimacy problem yes you know getting into me intimate with somebody right away like it it's it seems like it's hard to do that sober so it's hard for people to do that sober not that they don't but right most people enjoy a few drinks yes sydney do you enjoy a few drinks absolutely <laughs> wine i go my that's my go-to <laughs> so you get a little wine you get a little wine drunk every now and again yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been in this scenario before where we, you know, I you first meet somebody and then you just the amount of drinking and fun you're having and fucking and eating and talking and it's God, it's just disgusting. The love, love is disgusting. I hate it so <laughs> yeah, much. It's very unclean. It's so unclean. It's <laughs> so, there's so many feelings flying around and you just, you say all the things that you really feel about a person and then you share food and then you kiss during the, while you're eating. It's fuck, like when dog, like when Greg's dogs fucking eat food out of each other's mouths. <laughs> God, love is fucking gross, and I just don't like it. But I'm really happy that you found it. And um, like we said, if 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 you're firm on your stance, if you're immovable with this, then and he does love you, there will he will try and find a way to see clear. Yeah, I mean, it's possible that he's thought about this before. It's possible it's come up with other people before in his life. It all depends. Yeah. I don't know how old either of you are, you know. Right. It sounds it sounds in young. Twenties, you tend to drink a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're if if he's in his forties, because we've had this before, we've had people write in about being in relationships and they're in their forties, like mid to late forties, and they're still partying like they're in their twenties. And unless it's the Super Bowl halftime show, there's no excuse to be getting that fucked up all the time in your mid forties. So, um, but if you're in your twenties, this seems like about, this seems like the actions of a 20 year old or like someone in within their twenties, you know, we hope that helped anonymous, um, cut your sandwiches the right way. You know, the right way. And uh, crazy way from, from, from corner to corner. No corner to corner. Is corner to corner is the way to do it. It's no, way to do it. It'll put you in a mental hospital if you do it corner to corner. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? There's something. <laughs> Don't fucking do that to me. <laughs>
poster of a cat hanging from a tree. And it says, hang in there, baby, you're Mondays, am I right? Mondays, am I right? So if you can think of a different title, then we'll probably change it. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, same dog. Look at your dog. <laughs> this is Chewy. Chewy. What's up, Chewy? Chewy and Sal are in the house. Speaking of dogs, welcome to What Does This Meme, the second segment. You guys all know what this is. Um, before we get to a meme, though, I have something for Pat um, sent to us. I got to find it. Where is it? Come on. I'm going to just look it up. Kara. Kara, I need to know the best way to get a thirst trap pick to Sal if you wouldn't mind helping a girl out. <laughs> So I'm going to text this to the group chat. <laughs> this is Kara's dog for Sal, giving him, giving him bedroom eyes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's such a thirst trap photo. Oh, it's so thirsty? <laughs> Kara's dog. Kara, Kara's dog is dehydrated. She thought she thirsty. Kara, please. I forgot to ask. Kara, could you uh, let us know what your dog's name is, and maybe we can find some sort of love connection for Sal. Look at him. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, moving on. We have some memes. I have a. I have one. Greg, do you have one? Yeah, I've got. I think I've got two. One or two. Okay, and Pat has some. I'm looking some up right now. Okay, and Sydney, you have some. I do. I have two. Okay, great. Well, I'll go first, and then we'll just go down the line. We'll go Greg, then we'll go Pat, then we'll go Sydney. Uh, mine says, a ship is always safe ashore, but that is not what it's built for. What do you know about ships? <laughs> that's, that's, from, <laughs> that's from Albert Einstein. <laughs> not, his best, not his best day. <laughs> He came up with the theory of relativity, and he's telling us how boats work. <laughs> what, they're, what they're for. That's what they're for. They're for, yeah. they're for sailing. Sailing. Take me away to where I... You know? So, yes, no, thumbs up, thumbs down. Sydney, what do you think? No. No? <laughs> okay. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Whatever's clever. Greg, what do you have? Uh, you will keep attracting the same person, but with a different face and name until you heal the part of you that is attracted to them in the first place. Okay. That's true. That's from the single woman. Um, yeah. Yeah. Keep attracting the same people. You're looking for the same. You're looking to heal the same part of yourself. Yeah. That's true. That's I don't know how helpful true. it is. It just yeah. explains. It just explains your situation. Yeah, you just kind of end up being. With There's the no tip point. there. Not at all. You're until just... you stop, I guess. Until you stop. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. knock it off. That's what that should say. Hey, knock it off. Hey, whatever, knock it off. whatever you're doing out there, stop <laughs> it. That's not. That's not what boats are built for. <laughs> that's not what boats are built for. <laughs> I've got one here. Do not let your empathy for others drain you to the point that you no longer have the capacity to show up for yourself. Oh, okay. okay. Let's go. Okay. That feels good. That feels good. Be there for yourself. Another one that makes me feel like they're just saying, hey, stop it. Uh, Sydney. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, everyone. If you want to be able to buy things without looking at the price, you got to be able to work without looking at the clock. Boy, I hate that. <laughs> yeah. After yeah. I read it, there was like, there's a delay with my with my voice, I think. there. You guys were silent for like 10 seconds after I read it. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I also, I also don't like it. Uh, it's yeah. It makes me, it makes me feel dumb. Sometimes I want to look at the clock. Also, sometimes I need to know how things, are, I'm not, I don't make, I'm not a millionaire. I need to know what things cost. It makes me feel bad for being poor meme. That's such a wantrepreneur. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, on to this one. I got another one here. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but the moments that take our breath away. I wish I could I wish I could fall face first into my computer. Why? <laughs> Because your breath got taken away, <laughs> huh? You got, you're dizzy from all the breath being taken away. away. That's from that's from Maya Angelou. All right, we were both on Oprah. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off! Fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> I was on Laughs on Fox. <laughs> Something no one's ever heard of. <laughs> Well, I've got some here from our Discord, actually. Uh, Kiana sent one in. It's expressed as a name tag. Hello, I'm no longer available for shit that makes me feel bad. Mm. That sounds fine. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like uh, that one. Also, also, Monica A. sent in, something bad didn't happen every time I drank, but whenever something really bad happened, it was when I was drinking. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. And mm -hmm. as a counterpoint to that, Paige Brianna sends in, if you aren't happy single, you won't be happy taken. Happiness comes from drugs, not relationships. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> Stop dating Molly. She's bad for you. And start <laughs> dating Molly. You know what I mean? Wink, wink. <laughs> Do you know, you know what I mean, Greg? Yeah, I, I got you. Greg, <laughs> Greg, well, did you my get head's the... My head's going to go straight into my computer again. <laughs> I just need to know how clever... How cl I need you to know how clever I am. <laughs> and then uh, uh, lastly on our Discord, uh, Geekiana sent in a second one. Be mine or not. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't take a stance in any direction. That... <laughs> That person is standing still and the world is moving around them. <laughs> yeah. Sydney, do you have another one? I do. It's uh it's short and sweet. <clears throat> Ages of no importance unless you're a cheese. <gasps> I used to have a t-shirt that said that. <laughs> 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 That one, that one wins. That, that was good. That one wins. Yeah. That went. That wins the segment. You got. Do you know how excited Pat? Pat gets excited about a lot of things. Pat is very excitable. He and Sal share that type of demeanor. I don't think I've ever seen Pat that excited about anything. <laughs> he lost his shit. It was he almost. Did. Like a long lost <laughs> twin brother showed up. <laughs> it was one of those stupid cheese related joke shirts that you get when you're working in cheese. It's just like somebody gives it to you. And they're like, I know you're into cheese, so here you go. Awesome. Do you still have it? I yeah. might, actually. I might. I'll look for it. Yeah, okay. look for it. Yes. And also you should be wearing that That's when you awesome. start you start your cheese, your cheese TikTok. And um, I think that's the only way it can go. Uh, so that was great. That one wins for sure. I got some messages in from my Instagram that's from Leslie. Date idea. They come over at 9 p.m. and you both take two melatonin and get 10 hours of sleep. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Smoky Creepin sent one in that... Uh, says who will be the next star of the bachelor our rankings and it's just 
four white guys that all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Sunshine Glance sent a picture that said, this is how many pillows that is needed, and it's 14 fucking pillows on a bed. Oh, beautiful. Gross. <laughs> beautiful. Gross. Snap them out. Murderers who cut their sandwiches corner to corner sit on a bed with 14 goddamn pillows. <laughs> yeah. V. Allen Brand sent a picture of his cat laying on a don't take bullshit from fuckers pillow. Speaking of pillows. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, we have pillows over at our Redbubble store. Are you guys, are, are you looking at your couch or your bed and you're thinking, my, my place, it looks barren. I need some pillows. Always be blocking and don't take bullshit from fuckers. Pillows as well as Popsicle Pat Thirst Trap pillows available at the Redbubble store. <laughs> you guys have come onto my TikTok at all, but the clip of Greg explaining Twip Snap Dead uh, has gone viral. Quarter, uh, it's almost at a mil, million views. The debate is raging. Uh, on the comment section, as well as people requesting a shirt that says "Whip Snap Dead," and guess what, people? It's it's there. It's ready to go. It's also on our Redbubble store. Show your love and appreciation for the fallen Gwen Stacy. God rest her soul. Oh, no. With a "Whip Snap Dead" T-shirt or mug. <laughs> Get the mug. Get the mug. I'm going to get the mug. Fuck yeah, as you should. Let's I'm putting it on shower curtains, too. There's shower. No, I don't understand what the debate is about. There's no <laughs> People want to be right. The amount of nerd sh fucking comments. People, first of all, people are also coming at me for saying, like, I don't know. They're confused at how we got to Gwen Stacy in the first place because I made the faux pas of saying, that my scar looks like Tobey Maguire's web shooters, but I don't know how else to say it. I know that he doesn't technically have web shooters, that they're just organic webs that come out of his body. I'm well aware of that. That's why I got the tattoo, but I didn't know the, the, the terminology. And so I'm getting shit for that then, and saying that I don't know enough about Spider-Man to even have the tattoo. So then there's, then there's people who just want to be right so when they stand on the hill of she she hit the ground they don't want to leave it and then it's everybody trying to convince them that she didn't hit the ground and then those pe then people who want to be on the hit the ground uh, party they fucking try it's just it's going it's constant how come nobody posts the picture from the comic book uh, they, I did. I posted the picture on the co of the comic book and on TikTok to like quell this whole thing. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Makes zero difference. Really? Yeah. People just love to fight, man. <laughs> it's their favorite they thing. Do. <laughs> they do. I'm just. I, I just. I'm. Somebody said when I saw this, I thought it was just gonna be two white guys talking about shit. Yeah. But then they liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that comment too. I saw. I saw white guys with microphones and was like, boo. And then I watched it and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Our show, yeah. Don't stereotype us as just generic mansplaining white guys. All right. But if you're a new listener from the TikTok, welcome. Hello. Welcome, all you new TikTok uh, listening fans out there. I really, we really appreciate you guys coming aboard. Uh, so many Greg Barrett fans coming out of the woodwork. Seeing your face. Yeah, it's all sad. It's all like, God, I thought he died. <laughs> <laughs> Whip snap. Whip snap Greg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whip snap Greg. <laughs>segment three people i know you love it you're so excited what a show what what is this show what does this show become it's high energy man it's the most energy uh yeah i feel like shane on love is blind insane and childish <laughs> sydney is our guest 
from Alaska. And, um, you know, as much as we enjoy just having you on board to laugh at all of the nonsense that comes out of our mouths, we also, you know, as a listener, we really appreciate you listening to the show and coming aboard to just be here in general. So just want to tell you that right off the bat. But also, um, you. are you, uh, what do you, what do you do? Yeah, I work in a uh, fisheries lab. I'm a biology lab technician. Um, mm -hmm. So I listen to podcasts all day while I am in the lab. Um, but yeah, I do, I do a bunch of different stuff, but I just do different, different lab work for researchers and that's about it. That's fun. How did you come to the show? I'm a GDE fan and that kind of like tied me into you guys and had me listening a lot, but I, um, I listen to a lot of different types of podcasts, but I was looking for another comedy podcast because I listened to a lot of true crime, but I did some more uplifting content. And you guys are one of the top ones that came up on my Spotify. And uh, then I started listening probably about a year ago now and uh, binged and here I am on the That's show. That's awesome. That's so cool. You guys are so funny. You're like my, I laugh, I laugh a lot. Like I just, people tell me I laugh obnoxiously a lot and loud and uh you guys just have like my same kind of humor so i i love you guys you guys are great oh thank you uh, thank you sydney i appreciate that um yeah. fuck those guys who say you have an obnoxious laugh no no <laughs> not like not not in a mean way well i hope not oh oh okay i, I love to laugh oh okay <laughs> cool cool um yeah i thought they were coming after our girl sydney i got all protective <laughs> yeah you know yeah once you're in the cult once you're in you're fucking you're, you're yeah. part of us yeah i'm in the cult officially uh are you are you dating at all i am i am dating you are how's that how is that going yes um it's it's going good it's it's been a few months um i it's hard to date in juno um it's it's a small town it's uh you can't I don't know what you know about Alaska, but this city, you can't, um, you can only get here by boat or plane. So you can't mm -hmm. drive anywhere else to meet with someone. So if you're going to date, unless it's long distance, it has to be in Juneau. And uh, I was in a, a long term relationship when I moved here. And then after we broke up, I did like a year of the dating apps and it was very interesting. And uh, now I'm with my current partner and it's going good. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Great. And you got how long have you guys been together? Since I want to say August. So. Ooh. Oh, wow. Good. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. He gets me uh, more. So. He gets you. He gets you what? Outdoors more. Oh, nice. Okay, that's great to hear. I'm really I like happy to stay to indoors. It. When I met and I dated girls that like to stay indoors, and when I met Amira, she liked to go outdoors. Mm -hmm. And I think that was what was fascinating about her mm -hmm. for me, because I was an indoor guy. Yeah. I like to date women that wore men's pants and wanted to stay indoors. <laughs> <laughs> wore sunglasses indoors too. Yep, Just totally. want to date you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, I think uh, I'm down to. I'm always down to do something fun. Um, I'm always out and about. But I find I always date, I tend to date girls who also want to do that stuff, but make it like it's the whole day. And so after, like right around two, I'm fucking done. I'm spent and they want to keep going. They're like, okay, now we got to go to this farmer's market because that only opens after 2.30. And I'm like, oh my God, can we nap? And I never seem to find anyone yeah. <laughs> who lo loves naps as much as me. I fucking love I, to nap. I love naps. Oh. Like I... If I have the time, I will take a nap. Like I will plan it into my day. So yeah. I'm glad yeah, I love other people agree. I like a nap too. Yeah. Oh, God. Like it two hours, like a two hour nap. Like, yeah. My favorite day would be, you know, doing like getting coffee and, and doing fun shit outside, uh, whatever we're doing. And then, and then fucking getting a nap in there. Yeah. And then do, and, and then rocking outside and going doing whatever else later exactly. that night. Exactly, and then going that out would, at night. Yeah. Yeah, that's the perfect, perfect day. day. Perfect. Before we get to some updates and our Reddit remix, I just wanted to remind everybody 
I just updated my calendar. Uh, so if you want to come out and see live shows, I got a bunch. There's uh, all, all of it's at KaneHolloway.com. And I would appreciate you guys coming out. If you're, I'm going to have a bunch of different shows all over the place. KaneHolloway.com for show dates. Uh, I'm going to be doing live shows a, a lot in the next couple months. Yeah. And I'm the worst at telling people when I am somewhere. Mm hmm. So when you've heard this already, I just got back from Arizona. Fuck. <laughs> and was just in, in just in Pittsburgh. So, uh, but I am going to Milwaukee and Detroit. Oh, awesome. So, uh, yeah, check that out. I'll, I'll, I'll post some dates somewhere. Okay, cool. Yeah. And also give, give me the dates so I can throw them up on the Instagram. Yeah, you got it. Okay, uh, over at uh, DTBFF podcast at gmail.com, we got an update from Marcy, one of my favorite listeners or least favorite listeners. I'm not sure what our relationship is. She comes <laughs> at me a lot. <laughs> Writing my number on a piece of paper. Hey, Gregor's popsicle pat and bald. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> And what? And bald. Wow. You get Gregor's. You get Popsicle Pat. And the and the only thing about me is I don't have hair. Marcy, you <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I just listened to what happened to Emily at the bar, and I couldn't help but applaud her. Uh, Emily went out to she felt cute and went out uh, in the real world to a bar to hang out and get hit on and then no luck there and so she actively went out and decided to start talking to a guy she thought was cute and it didn't go anywhere but she was trying her best to navigate dating out in the real world um it's extremely difficult as a woman to go out alone to a bar and feel safe so the fact she even did that at all is a testament to how badass she is, and I wish her luck. I can't stand dating apps, but I also have trouble meeting people organically these days. The last time I approached, maybe it's because you're always calling people bald. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody. <laughs> I'm beggars. <laughs> it's beggars. <laughs> Popsicle Pat. <laughs> Those are sweet names. Popsicle Pat. <laughs> it's Gregor's, everybody. <laughs> hey, it's Gregor's. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to power through. But last time I approached a guy, I wrote down my number on a napkin next to a little doodle of a crocodile and said, hey, I'm sorry, I don't know if you, you're busy, but my name's Marcy and I'd love to meet up with you sometime. The guy snorted, said, yeah, okay, took my number and set it face down on the counter in front of me, then walked away. Oh, Jesus. It's hard to find guys who aren't painfully shy or rude as shit. That's my rant. Love you all, Marcy. Wow. Oh, that's fucked up. That's brutal. Yeah. I'm sorry that happened to you, Marcy. I hold a little disdain in my heart <laughs> for you. But I hate I hate to see that happen to you. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe Marcy's flirting with you and her mm -hmm. flirting style is hurting. <laughs> <laughs> well, let maybe me tell you. Maybe her love language is lashing out. <laughs> She's succeeding. Because my heart is broken into a million pieces. Yeah. Uh, Ma, Ma, uh, Marcy follows me, and I, I followed her back. She's a really great um, artist. Um, and if she ever wants me to give out her handle, Marcy, you just let me know. Um, because her, her art is incredible and should be seen. So the fact that she wrote down a crocodile which i'm or drew a co crocodile next to her number and a guy still walked away it means that guy was a fucking blind piece of shit um and you don't you don't deserve that even though you're cruel and <laughs> mean as fuck <laughs> to people so accepting <laughs> oh fuck anyway um yes you know we love you marcy moving on um we have 
bonus episodes, brand new bonus episodes up and ready to go uh, on Patreon. We will also be recording, uh, I think, after the new crop of episodes of Love is Blind that comes out Friday. Uh, I'm sure we've already watched it. But once that show is done and wrapped up, we will be doing a bonus episode on Love is Blind. So it's going to be all at the Patreon. So patreon.com slash DTBFF podcast if you would all love to support us. And now, Reddit Remix. Reddit Remix. We asked, we have a couple of Reddit Remixes in the bank, and we asked our guest producer, Sydney, which one she would like to hear. And she picked this one. And I am very excited because nobody but Pat knows what's in this. <laughs> am I the asshole for asking my boyfriend to stop emulating Winnie the Pooh? So this conflict came up recently because I moved in with my boyfriend. The issue is that he has started walking around the apartment and spending most of his days completely bottomless. <laughs> <laughs> Dick out with just his shirt on. <laughs> he calls that Winnie the Pooing. No. <laughs> no, no, no. He told me he started it during work from home because he thought it was funny. What? Okay. <laughs> to, to be on Zoom and just not have pants on. No, that's predatory, dog. <laughs> so fucked up. That's fucked up. That's not funny. I'll be honest, it makes me a little uncomfortable. A little? It should make you nothing but uncomfortable. <laughs> For him to just constantly have his penis out in front of me, so I have requested that he just wear boxers at least. He thinks I'm trying to be too controlling and that I should appreciate his body. However, it just feels kind of unsanitary and weirdly dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> he was cooking with oil and a drop of oil spat out of the pan and landed on his penis. <laughs> Am I the asshole for not wanting to constantly look at my boyfriend's penis? No. <laughs> hey, yo, you know... <laughs> Hey yo, dog. <laughs> it's a little squirt, squirt. And I know I've been I've been around in a while, but you can't be controlling motherfuckers' dicks, yo. And that's first of all, it's not called Winnie the Pooh and dog. It's called Donald Duck Party. And my motherfucker, I think I know who you're talking about too. That's Mel Gibson. He's a good friend of mine. Mel loves, and he was trying to do that. He came to my house for a Donald Duck party in a red shirt. Red is not allowed in my house because we donald duck you dress like a sailor with no pants and your dick out and your camera phones open ready to take pictures of everyone's dicks that's what we do he comes in a red shirt and he tries to claim that it's a winnie the pooh party motherfucker he does this shit all the time but you can't stop a motherfucker from being donald duck winnie the pooh uh the only people we don't like are mickey mouse motherfuckers walking around with pants on and no shirt gross <laughs> I think you need to slow your roll, girl. Maybe join them. Have your coochie out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Bring your cookie. <laughs> Donald and Daisy Duck <laughs> chilling in the house, making soup. I always cook. I cook with nothing but oil. I deep fry French fries at my Donald Duck party. Uh, I always have people. Everything is. I have little mini ovens <laughs> that are knee level. Uh, we always walk around with hot things. It's like an obstacle course. So <laughs> I think I, you know if you can't get behind this, I don't think it's gonna work. And a dick is a beautiful thing. I don't believe in that at all.
<laughs> well, what happened? I'm back. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I think you said it all, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sydney, thoughts? I, I don't. I just like wonder how clean he is if he's just sitting on the sofa with his oh. full nude. I don't know. Not a fan. Oh, it's just leaving a ball. Just leaving a ball print on the vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> Just teabagging everything. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking psycho. Yeah, I don't like I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I feel I feel more naked when I put my shirt on first. When I'm getting dressed and I put my sh shirt yeah, on first, yeah. I feel somehow more yeah. naked. <laughs> yeah. That's so true. I, that's so true. It's so bizarre how I'm like, nope, I did this wrong. <laughs> Boxers. Yeah, I never put my shirt on first. Never. And anytime I do, I'm I catch myself in the mirror and I'm like, you 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 did the day wrong. You have to start over now. <laughs> oh my this guy, this guy cuts his sandwiches corner to corner. He's a fucking psychopath. No way. <laughs> no way. He cuts them into squares. <laughs> he eats little sandwich pieces. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Oh God, yeah, he's being too dangerous with his dick. I don't like him at all. Um, I think you should move out, uh, start a new life uh, away with from somebody, maybe somebody who starts their day wearing pants, and also doesn't think it's fucking funny to just have your dick out on a Zoom meeting with your coworkers. You creep. Yeah. What about all his pubes near the food? Oh my God. Yeah, his pubes. <laughs> People wear hair nets when they make you sandwiches. <laughs> this guy walking around with a little little hair nut. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. Well, I think that I think that does it. Yeah. That was fun. Sydney, you were awesome. <laughs> thank you so much oh, for being a part you. of the show. You guys are awesome. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. You uh, do you have anything you want to share to the people that you want someone to see, or you <laughs> keep all that stuff private? Uh, uh, you can follow my Instagram. It is private. That's I post pictures of my dog and mountains. And, Great. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's um at Sydney Lee King. Sydney Lee Which is King. Handle for cool. L e i g h or l e e? Uh, l e e. And s y. All right, great. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I'll give you a follow for sure. I'd love to see the mountains and the dogs. Uh, you're our you're our friend now, and we really enjoyed oh, you being on. Honored. And yeah, um, it was nice to laugh in uh, in real time. So. Oh, good. <laughs> Because I laugh uh, anyway. So. And it's a great laugh, everybody out there. <laughs> Make sure if you would like to support us, go to patreon.com backslash DTBFF podcast for bonus episodes. You can follow the show at DTBFF podcast on Instagram. And you could contact us at DTBFF podcast at Gmail. I'm at Kane Holloway. I'm at Scruggers. I'm DTBFF producer Pat. And you can call in the show. What's that number, Pat? Oh, God. God damn it. <laughs> I'm never Sid ready. Sydney made him nervous. <laughs> no, it's I, you know I never remember the number. I never remember the number. You've, so been on the ball, you've been on the ball for like 10 episodes. That number is 323-379-5544. Don't take bullshit from fuckers. Fuck them. Hey there, if you like the show, you can find bonus episodes and more at our Patreon at patreon.com slash DTBFF podcast. And then rate the show five stars on iTunes because it's the right thing to do. All music by the Rating Monarchs, produced by Patrick Kelly.